Today I'm watching Angel Season 2 Episode 20. We ended the previous episode with Cordelia being sucked through this portal following Lauren's cousin into this other dimension. So I'm assuming this episode will be about the rest of the group trying to find her. Wesley said he was going to try and translate that book somehow so that they could possibly open another portal. And I'm worried about what Cordelia's going to be up to trying to survive in this other dimension. We know from Lauren's cousin it wasn't exactly a friendly place so I'm a little worried to see what's going to be going on there. We're also getting very close to the end of season two so I'm not too sure how we'll be wrapping that up. I'm anticipating Wolfram and Hart will be involved. They weren't in the last episode so yeah I'm curious to see where we're gonna go with this season. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. Hello, guys, cousin? I don't think you want to be bringing attention to yourself right now. Oh, yeah. Run and hide. <sighs> She's trying to go home like Wizard of Oz. Oh, good try, though. Woodsy woods. Sunny and mild. Lurking demon. Yeah, there we go. That checks out. Oh, my God. Run! Staring at me. That's... It's incredibly frightening. Good, Hellbeast. You're a Oh my god. That's terrifying. Run! This thing looks like it's from cats or something. I don't know. It's terrifying. Run! And save Cordelia. Crickle and Sid. We might never be able to get back. It's Cordy. Yeah, they have to go rescue her, obviously. Like, it's just Wesley is obviously more of a planner. Lauren's shaking in his boots. Maybe I have to be standing where the portal open. A limited number of portals you can open a day? I don't know. What? Well, I I'm just saying, my world? Y you don't want to jump into my world looking like that. Yeah, get some weapons, get prepared, exactly. Oh, okay, that's what they're gonna do, hair and makeup. <laughs> I'm not supposed to die like this! <laughs> Oh god, it's literally just a dog that's licking her. Friendly? And also, ew. Yeah, Come much here, ew. <laughs> it's like that gosh darn dog is always running off on me. Oh my god, they have pets in this world. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes. Really cute thing you've got there. Personally, I've always. <laughs> His leg shaking. <laughs> hey. Who you calling cow, mister? Oh, this isn't gonna end well. Oh no. Flashy light, whoosh through the portal, bang. I'm in another dimension. This dimension, which I love and adore. Would five years ago have been the Buffy episode? Hard to believe. Do you? Well, try this. They have no music there. That's his version of hell, yeah. And managed to open another portal. If we simply jump in, we could wind up literally on opposite ends of the world. That's not great. I don't like those odds. Nope, 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 nope. And Cordy didn't arrive together. Yeah, we didn't see him when they went through the portal together. It was just her. Bring him up to date. Yeah, we got two problems. One, we got to find a dimensional hotspot. And two, we got to figure out how we can all get through the portal without- I'm not going. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I think he's had a lot going on in the past few days. I should have been there, but- I'm sorry, but Wes said the trip was one way, and I, I, I can't. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose more people, obviously. Wish you luck. And he doesn't have the connection to Cordelia that these two do. Like, he cares about her, but obviously, yeah, he's not willing to go. I mean, too, I guess. No, I mean about the not going part. You do know I'm not going, right? What? Lauren's like, I'm never going back there. Yeah. <laughs> I love anytime we get to see more of like the demon world or other dimensions. This one seems like medieval, western, something like that. Very cool. He's a 
good cow. I can't be comfortable. She's like, stop calling me a cow. Ever since the last cat died, we've been mucking out the Flahemba stables ourselves. You should see my rash. Why is it always Cordelia that gets stuck in these situations? Oh, that's not good. You're misunderstanding. See, I am an American, and I have rights. And right now, I'd like to get right back. Oh, God, is that a shock caller? Cows aren't for talking. They're for doing their jobs if they know what's good for them. Well, Cordelia's going to love that mentality. Ouch. <laughs> I feel like that's Winifred. I feel like that's the girl from the library who went missing five years ago. So, what brings you to the office? Well, like you don't already know. Oh, I know. I just want to see what kind of spin. And this, like, bird's eye view shot. Yeah, I'm curious who this new character is. My home dimension. And you're not going with him? Hey, I'd rather have a hydrochloric acid facial. Oh, that sounds wildly unpleasant. My throat. Yeah. I'd rather sit through a junior high school production of Cats. There we go, yes. I knew there was a cat's theme in this episode. Prevent us from sketching. What, we handcuff ourselves together? Who do we know that has handcuffs? Well, I wouldn't know. Wesley, where was that gonna go? During the day. I'm Gavin Park. This is my associate, Mr. Hayes. We represent Wolfram and- Already bored. Of course. I recognize Gavin. I think he was in Lost. I recognized his name in the uh, opening credits. I'm sure that somewhere in your lease agreement, there must be one or two loopholes to be exploited. They love loopholes, these guys. Oh, man. That's the last thing Angel wants to worry about. I just issue Marie Claire. I want to be doing anything but shoveling demon horse poop. Yeah, that's so bizarre. Like a demon horse. What? <laughs> I mean, not really. I just sometimes I think I was. I mean, I don't think it was my thought. She's losing it. Yeah, she's been here for so long, obviously. Yeah. What's going on? No. What's going on? On your face, cow on the floor. No. Oh my god, I don't like that. <laughs> and she doesn't get to see her face. Oh no, she won't recognize her. Eleven sixteen. Is he calling Buffy? For Wes to have that Eureka moment. Eureka! Oh, jeez. Thank God. You mean he actually really says Eureka? <laughs> yep. Give me six packets of heat fruit, four quicks, a bottle of flip liquor, and a spatula. <laughs> and a spatula. List all these obscure things, and then a spatula. Oh, my viper's milk. Well, I, I'm sorry. It's just if I wasn't carrying every. Oh. Oh, Frick, right now, seriously? Talk more than you are. She's gonna get a vision and spill it. That's gonna be bad news. Oh, God. Near the forest, by a, a big yellow rock. Oh. And what are they gonna think of her visions? Good or bad? I don't know. Or the dragon. <laughs> Getting very uh, Salem witch trialy over there. Yeah. Oh no, Cordelia. Why did you? Got a phone message. Sounded like the captain of the Titanic getting ready to go down with the ship. Okay, I thought he was calling Buffy, but obviously he called Gun. Oh. Ninety-six percent, huh? Give or take. Getting very Back to the Future. They're gonna drive through this. Not a time jump, but a portal jump or a dimension jump. Seat belts. Haha. <laughs> Well, frick, they're gonna need that spell to bring back the portal. Oh, man. I love sci-fi, though, so I'm very excited to see them literally drive into this new dimension. Hand right, me a blanket! I'm gonna catch on fire! Cut her, cut her. <laughs> he's not. He's okay. Why am I not on fire? In, this, dim in this dimension, he's fine. What? Well, That's convenient. I'm not on fire. And we're together. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't merge into a freakish four-man Siamese twin. <laughs> right. Now, may I suggest we find some way to hide the car? Be a little conspicuous, seeing we don't have convertibles in this world. Angel's just so excited he gets to be out in the sun. Some branches, some brush, anything that'll cover up the car. Oh, hey, look. There's some over in that patch of sun. I'll get them. <laughs> 
He's just so excited. Rockin' beast to fed on his flesh. Oh, oh God, it's you. Look, I I'm really sorry about that, honest. This guy's reminding me of a character from Dune. People. You know, we must discover beyond all doubt if this girl is cursed with the sight. I'm sorry, who's this guy in the robe? We will commence the test. They love doing their tests. No, 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 no. Haha. <laughs> Are they giving her a lobotomy? Pylea, in which case it would be useless in Pylea, and therefore it only exists in our own dimension. Interesting but inconvenient concept. You grab the book when you You grab it. I love the comedic elements of them like bickering over the book and trying to rationalize it. I'm really enjoying this episode so far. This guy with these like tin helmets look like something out of Monty Python. Yeah. Xenophobia, kind of a watchword where I'm from. I don't get it. Why they afraid of Xena? I mean, I think she's kind of fly. 100% Xena Warrior Princess. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Destroyer! Ah! We should run now! It's so interesting to see Lauren's dimension, and he's you know giving the tour guide, obviously for the audience. So we get to explore his home. I think we're winning. <laughs> and as soon as they say something, it cuts to them having the opposite happen. Oh, frick. That's not good. <sighs> this guy's like, can't get a break today. Immediately. Wait, you can't do this. What? Hey, watch it, guys. Easy. You dare to use your tongue in my presence? Oh, God. Unworthy trash. Will Angel to be able to come Angel, like, vampire face in this dimension? Put these things away. This is not looking good. I thought they would have, you know, at least met up with Cordelia by now, but now they're just as much trouble. She is indeed cursed with the sight. Measures must be taken. Blood must be spilled. Why is it always blood? Well, I ain't saying it's not wrist slapping. No, shut up. <laughs> I'm all shuffling over with their chains. Rev. Lawrence Lock of the Death Block Clan, you and the cow trash are not to speak. I'll debunch your panties in our way. <laughs> what is this, Queen Cordy? What? That's an interesting outfit. Oh my, what's going on here? What, what, what? So that was my first time watching Angel season two, episode 20. I really liked it. I like that they're giving this plot a few more episodes and I'm assuming the next episode will be about the same storyline as we ended with what I'm imagining is Cordelia is now queen of Pylea and that she's going to be helping the team get back to LA, but definitely not what I was expecting, but I'm very excited and I'm really enjoying this storyline. So I'm curious to see where it's going to go. I'm a Assuming this will be our new season finale, it's definitely not how I thought the show would end. I thought Wolfram and Hart, Darla, something like that would be how we would wrap things up for season two, but I'm really enjoying this to be honest, so I'm very excited to see where it's gonna go. And it's a whole new dimension, like they put so much time into building this other world and creating these characters and these demon horses and all of these pieces. So I'm glad it wasn't just a one episode thing. We get to see so much more and learn more about Lauren's background. And he's kind of, you know, playing tour guide and showing everybody around. He's like, oh, here's where my childhood best friend lived. And, you know, he might beat us with sticks, but like showing him this world that he wanted nothing to do with and... Everybody obviously remembers him. It says he was gone for five years. So I'm also suspecting that that is when in the Buffy world that she was in LA and was dealing with that portal from this group. And 
if I remember correctly, it was in like an abandoned warehouse or something. And that's kind of what Lauren says he woke up in this area that he turned into the karaoke bar. So yeah, very interesting. I don't know if that's accurate. So comment below and let me know. But that's what my hunch is, is that it's somehow connected to Buffy. This show and Buffy always does such a great job of placing these little breadcrumbs that come to life later on. So that's what my guess is. I feel so bad for Cordelia's character because anytime somebody's kidnapped, held hostage, I know Wesley was just shot as well, but I feel like if there was a tally of how many times it's happened to Cordelia versus everybody else, Cordelia would outnumber them, you know, 10 to 1. She's always the one like, oh, the demon's gonna kidnap somebody, it's gonna be Cordelia, and here she is being literally called a cow and ugly, and it's interesting how this dimension views people as animals or humans as animals, and and I'm sure there's a lot you could go into that if you really wanted to and dissect what that could mean. But to see Cordelia literally be told to, you know, keep her face down in the dirt and she's cleaning out this barn for the demon horrors. And I'm assuming that girl that talked to her through the hole in the wall was Winifred, Fred from the library, who's also missing, says about five years ago as well. So I don't think it's possible she would have been sucked through the same portal as Lauren, even though it happened around the same time, because obviously she was in the library when this happened and read the book. So maybe she's the one who opened it for someone else. I don't know. But if you can open a portal in other areas at the same time, but I'm hoping they're able to rescue her as well. And of course, Cordelia didn't get to see her face. I don't know if she would have recognized her immediately because she looks different now and it sounded very heartbreaking to hear her talk about like, oh, I remember laughing. Like she's been so dehumanized from being in this environment for so long that she's like, oh, I didn't even like, it doesn't even sound like she thought about escaping because she got so used to accepting where she is and hasn't even thought about attempting to do this. I was definitely worried they were going to unalive Cordelia. And especially as we get towards the end of the season, I'm like, okay, if this was when they were going to do something, we've seen that in, you know, the Buffy universe as well. They will do that towards the end of the season. So I was getting pretty nervous about that. And especially when they're saying, you know, her visions were a curse. I was like, that doesn't sound good. So I was definitely not expecting her to see her up on this throne with like this hologram outfit and assuming she's now a ruler of some kind because she seems to be in charge and Angel and Gunn and Wesley are brought in for sentencing when Cordelia is the one who will be conducting the sentencing. Uh, yeah, I'm very curious to see what's going to happen there. If Cordelia is going to want to stay in this dimension, I don't know, but I'm glad she's okay and is somehow got this position for herself and hopefully she can rescue the other guys and they can get out of there. That shot of them literally driving into the portal definitely gave me back to the future flashbacks and it was such a fun moment. I love sci-fi so I'm so glad that they're kind of exploring this more sci-fi route with these dimensions and portals and everything and of course the one thing they need, you know, the book didn't go with them and we have those comedic elements about them bickering over the book. It was so great to see Angel out in the sun. They had teased something similar in the previous episode when Angel goes to the commercial set that Cordelia is working on. But in this one, you know, as soon as they go through the portal, he's panicked. He's like, I need a jacket. I need a blanket. Like, I'm going to burn. And then nothing happens. I was like, okay. It would be a very inconvenient for the character to have to be constantly hidden or literally hiding in the shadows because they arrive during the day and they don't want to wait till nighttime to actually try and track down Cordelia. So the middle of the day, all their scenes are in the day. So I think it was a little bit half comedic elements, half it would be too much of a pain in the butt to have to do this for the entire episode. So to see Angel so excited to be on the sun was hilarious and so heartwarming at the same time. And he's just so excited and Angel rarely gets excited about things. So I just get excited when I see him be excited about things because he was just so endearing to see him like, oh, sticks, I'll go get those because they're in the middle of the sun. And to see him like tilt his face up to the sun and just smile and... We know it's been a long, long time since he stood outside in the sunshine. And in this world, they have two suns. So something with that means he can be out. And it was just so exciting for him. And I'm glad he gets this little moment, even if it is temporary. At first, I thought Angel was calling Buffy because he was being, you know, very much like, this is my goodbye. Here's the information you need. But 
it would make more sense that obviously he called Gunn because Gunn's been involved with this. I don't know what Buffy would do with that information. And the last time Angel talked to Buffy, her mom had just passed away. So I probably would have been a great time to dump all this stuff on her and say, hey, by the way, I might not also be coming back. So I'm glad Gunn ended up joining them because I feel like they need all the help they can get at this point. We did have a brief scene with Wolfram and Hart, but not our usual characters. It was new characters who are trying to buy the hotel, and I'm very worried for what that's going to mean, whether Angel just concedes and says, fine, take the hotel, I'll go move somewhere else. But I feel like Wolfram and Hart would just keep following them and trying to buy up every building that they're in. I don't know if Angel has the means to buy the hotel himself. If that's something he'd be interested in, it's definitely been our home base for this whole season. If they're trying to set up that next season, then we would have a different home base. I'm not too sure, but it's a really interesting set and a really cool story. So I hope they get to keep it, but we know Wolfram and Hart are relentless at best. So I hope they can come up with a solution, but yeah, no Lila, nobody else from Wolfram and Hart, no Darla, nothing like that either. I have just a crazy amount of love and adoration for the amount of work that would have gone into these past few episodes because usually it's you know a pretty small crew we've got our like four or five characters and then the main set and maybe there's a different set that they go to you know for a couple scenes and that's it but this was a huge undertaking they've had to create this whole new world tons of extras tons of new people to come into the show and we have this leader and then the king or the ruler of this world in his red robe and like this distorted voice who was very intimidating, very creepy and just did not think it was going to go well for Cordelia at all. And obviously more characters do look like Lauren because this is where he's from and this is his backstory. But even they add in, you know, different pieces as well. Like we had those two characters when Cordelia was on the spit and they had like super elongated faces, like just like super slack you know skin stretched out and the two of them are talking about how ugly she is and how she shouldn't talk because she's a cow and just poor Cordelia has had not the most you know fulfilling self-esteem past few episodes so I'm glad she's now queen somehow I don't know how that's gonna turn out but I love all the prosthetics, makeup, special effects, all of those details that go into this and creating such a big production for these past few episodes. So I'm very excited to continue and see where it's going to go. I hope this continues on to the season finale. This would be a four episode arc. If it does, um, please no spoilers, but I'm really enjoying this story. I think it's been one of my favorite parts of the season so far. I'm a little worried about how they're going to get back, though, and what happens if some people discover Angel's car. I like that car, so I hope nothing happens to it. But if they know of another hotspot, like if they try and go out to the same area that they came in, is the hotspot going to be cold? That was the issue they had at the karaoke bar. So as much as I'm enjoying this storyline, I don't know if we could continue it for an entire season. So I hope they can get back, you know, towards the end of the season for the season finale. I love any time they include, you know, human elements into these other dimensions. Like when we have Cordelia being chased down in the intro, it was terrifying. And then it turns out just to be their version of a pet dog as he's, you know, trying to lick her face. And I was worried what would happen if Cordelia got a vision in this world and if that vision would be about something happening back in LA, if it would be a vision, something that's happening here, which we saw was about the same demon we had in the previous episode is now here and is causing chaos, obviously. And especially when they said Cordelia was cursed and they're doing these tests on her, that was horrible. They always have some kind of test, which is terrifying and it doesn't end well. And now Cordelia is queen. So again, I'm curious to see how they explain that or how she got to that position. Maybe they realize these visions can be useful and she can help them, you know, prevent things and stop horrible things from happening. And I'm glad we finally had our group, you know, meet Cordelia finally sees Angel and Gunn and Wesley and Lorne in this world, even though that was literally the last shot of the episode but at least now they're finally together. I feel like this episode was the journey of them trying to find her. So now that they've found her, I'm hoping the next episode they figure out a plan how to get home. Overall, I thought it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed this storyline, so I'm very excited to continue and see where the next episode is going to go. I hope they can take Winifred back with them. 
whatever that looks like. I don't know if Lorne will stay. He definitely doesn't want to, but there's always some conflict, of course, at the end. And this is where he's from, so maybe he'll feel more compelled to stay. I don't know. I feel like Angel's going to want to stay in a place where he can enjoy the sun. And I'm definitely worried and curious to see how they're going to leave, what that plan is. We didn't really hear Wesley's plan until they get in the car and then they use the car as the vessel to drive through the portal. And I'm glad they didn't all merge together because he said that was an option. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. She's trying to go home like Wizard of Oz. A limited number of portals you can open a day? I don't know. Spatula lists all these obscure things and then a spatula. I'm sorry, who's this guy in the robe? Are they giving her a lobotomy? <laughs> I'm all shuffling over with their chains. I can't be comfortable. She's like, stop calling me a cow! Oh god, is that a shock collar? 